sucking it. Uh, she on every last. Amazing to me how people love to be on somebody else's page talking shit. If you don't like my same post, I want you to show me the sign that said, please follow me to yourself. I never asked nobody to follow me. And if I got the information wrong about Laura, I don't give a damn. Because I, like I said in the video, I never liked her. I knew she was a hoe. And if she didn't do it, it's a damn shame that her name is always coming up when there's some hoe shit going on. So if you don't like what I said, if I got my facts wrong, then guess what? Ask myself and ask yourself, do I give a fuck? Because I can tell you now, I don't give two fucks. I always felt like she was a hoe. And I put it out that she a hoe. And I'm not going to take it down because it's already out there. So what I'm going to say what I said and take it down for? Nobody got time for that. Oh, not the bees. Just unfolds together. Now get this. Somebody hit me up on my page back in March. Early part of March. I don't know when I posted or whatever. They're going to go off on me and they're going to say it's my birthday. So my message was, bitch, fuck you, ain't your birthday. You can't cuss me out and then say, oh, it's my birthday. Bitch, you're not going to have your birthday for me. You can fuck you, ain't your birthday. And when you are in pain of any sort, You're not going to feel better, but I sure want you to think of me. That fucked them up. But other than that, I'm cool. I'm just killing time before I go to, the, to get painted early because I'm not doing no Uber and on Uber. I'm not doing no Lyft. I'm going to drag. That's not my job. So I won't pull off that part. So she said the physical thing? I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know about that. Well, I didn't know what is it, OBGYN or whatever it's called, the women that, the, the doctors that check the women's private parts. But, bitch, it's cold as fuck to take a bike. Let me tell you, I walked that side and tried to walk to the corner. And before I even got to Starbucks, my hands was froze. Now, my rings, my fingers, I don't know these bitches got so cold, it was freezing my finger. It was there. Put your hands up or take the rings off. So I had to do both because my fingers were so cold and this ring was ice cold on dying fingers. I had to take them off. And put them in the pocket. What's going on with Sacadella? Look at this. Now you really can't see clear, but it is raining outside. And somebody is mopping the floor. So, in other words, they did that just for views. Why would you be outside mopping? Ha! <sighs> 
Hey, it's 2 a.m. Oh my gosh, it's 8.08 here. Yes, yeah, Jizz, Australia 2018, Jizz. Hey, Jasmine, hello from Rhode Island. I want to come to Rhode Island so much. You high? I'm trying to, baby, I wish I was. Oh, I wish I was. This is, I don't know what that is. I must have hurt myself or something, because that ain't right. Getting your daily dosages, okay. I'm trying to kill time. Because I have to perform at 10.30. I better check that bag and make sure my shavers are in there. Because if it's not, I'm in a world of trouble. I may have to use some glue to glue that down. and Ooh, that'd be horrible. I don't know what that is, but that don't feel good. I don't know how I got that. Food mopping. Yeah. Please don't start asking me, do I like people? Don't ask me nothing about Drag Race. Don't ask me nothing about none of the girls. Don't ask me, do I like people? I don't even know who Lana Direct this girl is. I know one song that she sang. Other than that, I don't know. Florida was amazing, Maybell. <laughs> Mabel, Mabel Sarah Redford. It was really, it was nice. It was warm. So I came from here to there. Oh, they hot. Oh, I can't wait to get home in some heat. Yeah, I'm always going to do a little patty, boo. You know, I don't give a damn. I don't know, honestly. I really don't know because patty is like <laughs> maybe about six minutes long. And I'm in the spirit of doing something like three minutes long. But I'm going to see how it go. The baby shit it. <laughs> I'm going to have to do a video about that. I am in Chicago, boo. How old were you when you lost your virginity? Shit, nine or ten? Because I was fucking girls at an early age. I have a lot of cousins that are boys. And they have a lot of friends. So I was doing things that I probably shouldn't been doing at that age, but I was doing it. Who else had unlocked their photos for me that I'm not going to meet and talk to? I'm going to pass on that, Jeff. Nothing's up, just... People ask me all type of dumb shit. And sometimes I may come with an old disrespectful, uh, disrespectful response. So I just may go on and tell the truth, honey. I was about 10. I'll say about 10, 11. No, I was earlier than that. I can't even say 11. I know for a fact I wasn't 11 because by that time I was dating a 16-year-old. Knocking her walls out of socket. Getting caught. <laughs> and her mama said, well, bless your little heart. Not my heart, her heart. Don't, don't bless my heart. Bless her heart. Your daughter, the, the city hoe. All the boys in school fucking her. Baby, sometime in June or July, I think July, sometime next year around that time, I meant to be asleep and I, if I'm so I can even hear you, Wama. Okay. I don't know what that, you know, if you post something like a link on here, nobody could get it. 
So I'm not sure what that link is. So you're going to have to send that in my message. For, send it in my message so I could look at it right now. And I need to find something. I have no alcohol. Ah, Listerine. She have enough in there. It is 8.13 where I'm at in Chicago. I'm not coming to Oklahoma unless they send for me. We are going to get our jazz. You tag me in it as well? Okay, let me get my jazz. I do got one message. Two messages. Mentions you in a story. I'm so tired of people putting up this nasty ass food looking like that. That makes me not want to eat. Did I just watch without? <sighs> Baby, you know I'm making a video on this one. Uh, uh, me too, fool be looking. Runny and unattractive. Yeah. Black eyed peas and cabbage. I'm having black eyed peas with some jalapenos mixed up in. It won't be like, ha, ha, ha. Hey, uh, Wesley, my dear. But it will be, uh, it will have more of the flavor to it, but not the hotness. And then I'm going to do maybe a pot roast or something. Something I go in the oven. And, uh... I don't know what else. I'm still trying to get it together. But I do know I got to do some black eyed peas. I don't mind black eyed peas. Mine be good anyway. Chop a little onion up in a little sausages or something. What the fuck? I could not. That bitch is nasty with that baby Amy Lopez. Whenever you see shit like that again, girl, you know if you send it to me, you know I'm going to make a video, Jim. Honestly, that's what I think I want to do. I think I want to do like watch videos and then, you know, <laughs> get my judge. Never had cat. I didn't say cabbage with jalapenos. I said black eyed peas, baby. What the hell you get cabbage with jalapenos? You gotta learn how to clean them ears and listen, boo boo. Mind you, dogs lick they piss, they shit, they assholes. This is why I do not. You good, boo. You good. I just need you to know, you know, what I'm cooking, Jim. So if you ever around and I'm cooking, you know, you can eat some good ass food. Because I can throw down in the kitchen. I ain't no punk in the kitchen now, trust me. Because I am ai like to eat and I like seasonings and flavors. I just don't want it cooked. It is, oh, it's cooked. It's good. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I got a couple of fat friends. Them bitches can't cook. Just because the bitch is fat don't mean she go in that kitchen and burn and she no good food. Bitch is hungry. And I can tell plenty of them, bitch, you just fat. <laughs> Cause bitch, you don't know good cooking. No ma'am, cause I'm skinny don't mean a bitch don't throw down some plates. I'm no punk when it comes to throwing down some food that's good. 
Because I love to eat threesomes. That's what somebody just sent me. You know. No ma'am, no pound. But no, I think I want to do a pot roast. Wait a minute, wait a minute. My mama making a roast it's Tuesday, so I may not do no pot roast. No, I'm going to do my own pot roast. Because there's going to be too many people down yonder. And I'm going to need me some leftover. So I'll probably do like a pot roast and black eyed peas. I think some cabbage would be cute. I have taste for macaroni and cheese. Um, if I, if I do the roast, which I think I'm going to do, I want to make some gravy. So I know I'm going to do rice and mashed potatoes. And then I'm going to see who's coming over so I can know how much to make and what to make. But if I have like maybe five or six people over, I'm going to make mashed potatoes and rice. I know that's two starches, but I'm a mashed potatoes fanatic. And then I would do like a big old, you know, roast and stuff like that. Because I have a lot of friends and meatloaf is cute. But I'm doing meatloaf for my friend's birthday, which is like two weeks. So I don't want to do double, double meatloaf. And he loved the meatloaf. So I'm going to fuck that up for him. And I have a couple of friends who family like are in different states and stuff. And they really don't go a lot of places. So I'm going to see who's in town and who want to come over and eat. Then I can know how much to cook and all that. Or I may not have nobody over and just say, bitch. I may swing by and drop off a plate. Depends on how I feel. You know? Do you put a little, uh, hold the fuck up. Hold up. I'm getting something real fun. Hey, just hashtag 85. Make some coins. I'm double checking somebody's status. Okay, that was Amy that sent me that. Okay. Yeah, that was Amy. Okay. No tea, no shade, no pick them in there. How can I come over? Oh, just. I don't know how you could come over to my village. You know, I really don't be having people popping on, popping on over to my village. Yeah. Ooh, this man look like my uncle Charles. No, ma'am. I don't even know how to tell. Oh, damn. Hold on, Jim. I'm trying to let have somebody up. Uh, Jasmine is everything. Love the root. The news 91. That's name. What? She's all right. Who's all right? When are you going to do a meet and greet? A meet and greet where? They didn't put a meet and greet for me tonight. Which I'm almost kind of happy. Because that means I don't have a time limit. I can really hang out with everybody like I want to. And I, y'all will see why I did this in one second. Oh, my God. Now I can see all the letters. Because everything was just running into the white on the shirt. So I flipped it around. All right. Happy New Year, Jeff. Happy early New Year to you, too. But, yeah, they didn't put a meet and greet. So I'm just going to hang out and dance and take pictures with people while I'm there. Before I go, you know, to the room and pass out. And get my ass back to the airport to get home. Oh, a meet and greet with Finn? I don't know. Tell North, 
Baby, they got to send for me for me to come. I felt sick. Ugh. I need something to eat. I just ate though, but I'm still hungry. I can't believe this bitch was licking this dog all in the mouth. Let me reroute you. But yeah, they have to send for me, Jeff. I ain't coming just to twiddle my thumbs. That ain't no fun. Uncle Charles can't dick you like I can. I don't need your dick. I'm finna fuck my own self in a minute. Shit. As soon as I get in drag. Well, no, I'm a pass on this. I miss you at Pump last night. What was Pump? What is Pump, Jeff? Today, Saturday? I wasn't supposed to be there. Ba <laughs> when I did this, I thought this was a bra strap. I was going to say, what the fuck? That's why I had to lean back over and be like, uh-uh, what's the fuck? Will you be at H&M Week, oh, Dream Girls, on Tuesday? No. I don't work on Tuesdays uh, with the Dream Girls. I don't work Tuesdays, and I don't work Fridays with the Dream Girls. You can catch me on Wednesdays in San Diego with the Dream Girls. And I believe that's the only show. Because I don't... I don't get booked for Tuesdays and Fridays with the Dream Girls. I'm only a Dream Girl on Wednesday. So... San Diego. But if not, you can catch me at Rage this Thursday and we hope. That's what you can do. You could definitely do that. You could catch me there on when, on Thursday. I'm sorry, but no, I don't. I don't get booked on Tuesdays and when on Fridays. Yes, bitch, get it on. So, catch me outside. How about that? What's your favorite little Kim song? Probably mine is How Many Licks. Oh, I don't have a favorite little Kim song. Because I don't even know all little Kim music to say I have a favorite. So, I have no idea, Jill. I honestly don't have no idea. I was in Orlando for Christmas and hung out with some friends, this Mexican. Mm. Mm. So everybody's getting into this uh, painting on the uh, internet thing. That's not my job. I'm doing good, love. How you doing, Art? Let me see. Oh, I love you too. I'm so excited you're going to be a drag con. Yep, I'm going to be there. Friday, I will be there. 
Saturday and Sunday. I'm going to be there, but I'm going to be just a tinge late because there's brunch. And I'm going to go make my money first because it's never guaranteed that people come to there and they buy anything from me or any other girls. Some girls will sell out and some girls won't. And before I set myself up, I'm going to go to work and then I will come back. But other than that, I will not be there early. So you have to be patient. You look fresh, qualified, and shade. I'm not shade. Look. Nobody <laughs> will see this on stage. You know what? I really can paint and just say, fuck it. Let my mustache show. Everybody else doing it. It did not take you that long <clears throat> to get in them pants and they that loose. You didn't have it on your ass. People kill me. I love SoCal Queens. We had never been passed attention to because they work on drag race and it makes me sad. Yeah, well, you know what? That just ain't so okay. That's everywhere. Baby, that's everywhere. That's everywhere. Girls get fucked over if they ain't on Drag Race. I'm end up blocking this person. No, let me run a block them right now. They can have it. <laughs> 174, your ass is out of here. And I told y'all, <clears throat> when people have, I follow not follow. I look at everybody who follows me. And when I see that you just started following me, oh, I'm scared I'm going to miss this. Oh, I'm scared I'm going to miss this. I'm not going to even accept that. I'm going to leave that in a message because I have to do a video about that. When I see people like me and they start following me, I told you I go through their shit. And I'm going to show you again. Now, they got some stuff. Let me see this bar person. Mm. When I'm going through here, and you know it always show you when a person start following you. Let me see. I just seen one. Somewhere. Or did I take them off? Oh, wait a minute. No, that's... Oh, there you go. <clears throat> when I see people following me, I always check on their page to see how many posts they have made. When it says zero, I do not, do not come on my page. Because I know you just a, you know, low-key hater. And it's okay for you to say, oh, I'm sorry, Jish, you know, I got my Jish. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> but I ain't got time for all that back and forth. You just want to be on my page because it's popping. And everybody else getting their Jish and your ass got blocked. You're going to always get blocked. I'm not my own business name. I think I follow you on that name too, Jish. Well, I don't know, Jish. Just don't do nothing crazy, you. Cause I will block thine ass. I know you, you wanna leave me, but I refuse to let you go. If I had to beg and please for your sympathy, I don't mind because it means that much to me. Ain't too proud to beg. Woo. 
Don't be mad at me for hitting my notes. <laughs> oh, baby, I'm done with Atlanta. Oh, no, ma'am. Oh, baby, no, ma'am. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I am done with the A, the T, and the L. I'm not coming back to Atlanta. No, sir, rebound. No, ma'am, bam. I am cool on the A, the T, I and the L. Like a... I don't give a fuck. <laughs> bitch, every... you can wear red shirts with yellow shoes, bitch. Every... Because this mom performed an Atlanta, no, ma'am. I had enough, and I could not go back to Atlanta. Between the airport shutting down, I mean, going losing power, and that damn train that they have you taking to get to one part to the other, baby, I don't have time for all that. So no, I'm cool with Atlanta. That this last trip I had in Atlanta was not my best uh, trip and it has turned me all the way off. So I am good on Atlanta, baby. Mm-mm. It was just, no. Nope. Baby, why are you asking me, do I like all these people? Do you like them? Ask yourself, do you like them? Don't worry about who I like and who I don't like. That ass is blocked. You know what? I just didn't enjoy Atlanta. The food was nasty. Everywhere I went to go eat, the food was nasty. The only thing that was good was J&J's fish and chips. And of course, I had chicken wings because I don't do fish. But it wasn't... Mm -mm. It wasn't good. Atlanta really went downhill to me. It really went downhill, and every guy that I ran across wanted to have sex without condoms. Not that I was going to go have sex, but every time a guy walked up to me, we chit-chatted, and sex came in, in the play. I don't know how they brought up, they was on prep, or they don't, you know, the condoms hurt, or certain loop. No, baby, nobody got time for that. I'm not, no, I'm not even here to be fucking. I'm here to have fun. I'm not even in the mood. It's too cold. When it's cold, I don't want to be home. So yeah, I don't. I'm good on Atlanta boo. I'm, I'm gonna go back with my sister Stasha uh, Sanchez. Have the um, her beneficial again for Christmas. Oh, but this time I'm gonna pop in, do the show, and I'm gonna pop right the fuck back out. Because, no ma'am, I just didn't have a good time in Atlanta. I'm sorry, I just didn't. It just wasn't my job. <clears throat> okay, me and T.S., me that's my job. Where did you go eat? Because the places I went to go eat wasn't good. I don't even know the names I could tell you. But they were not good at all. I do not want no dog in my refrigerator grabbing me nothing. Okay, you could teach them tricks but not going to my refrigerator. People are nasty. Baby, I went to one place. And the chicken was dry. I didn't go to the old lady gang because I decided to go somewhere else, which I wish I had never went. And I should have went to the old lady gang like I wanted to, to try that food out. And I went to some other place, some restaurant. Baby, it was the worst. Thank God I had my seasonings in my hot sauce to help out, but it was horrible. It was horrible. Ugh. 
Oh God. You go to VIP in New Orleans? Well, I ain't never been there. You have five guys in Taco Bell where you live now? Yes, ma'am, that chicken was dry. But the old lady game is good. It's a seafood place. Oh, I won't be going there. Mm -mm. I ain't a seafood type of person. Fried shrimp I could do, but not too much. Universal was everything in uh, Orlando. Got my jib. So that was cute. Baby, it was, I wish I would have went to the old lady gang, but I didn't go. Because my friend was like, no, let's go here. It's, it's good here. It's good here. Baby. It was horrible. But no, 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 boo. The food in the UK, because the girl, my friend who said she, they have five guys in Taco Bell. The food in the UK is food. It's not this processed shit we got to eat over here in America. They have real food over there. Their meat, all that is not processed. It ain't whatever they giving us over here. Their chickens ain't all swollen. Baby, they got real food over there. They McDonald's. McDonald's tastes like how McDonald's used to taste in the 80s, early 90s. Cause I was fucking McDonald's up with no problem. Cause it was fresh and it was meat. You could taste them. It tastes like you just had a burger at your house. But this other shit, I, oh my God. I just hope she put some teeth in her mouth. They don't let this bitch go on somebody. No, ma'am. <clears throat> Not now, that's heartburn. Oh, no. Wait, do they have the same menu? Yeah, they have the same menu in the States. Like the States, it's the same. Oh, let me see. We're not allowed lots of ingredients. You use the U.S. Yeah, see, and for real, the food over there, it be cooked, but it don't really have a lot of flavor to it. So you have to bring your own seasonings and stuff. But, yeah. The food was good. Why would you think I... Oh, no, I was... No, 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 no. <clears throat> you could just... I can't watch Joan Rivers no more. Cause I still get teary eyed by her passing. I don't, that had hit me so hard when they said that woman had passed, baby. It hit me hard. I boohooed and everything. Just couldn't believe it. It had just hurt my little heart. Hey, Indiana, I love you so I love you too, boo. All right, from the ATL, baby, I won't be back. I won't be back in Atlanta unless my sister Stasha do her benefit show again for the kids in Christmas. But other than that, I have no desire to run back to the ATL. Because mm -mm. the food tastes like wood. <laughs> no, I don't eat well I never I don't eat real velvet because I've seen Somebody made that one time at church, and the way this girl face went when she tasted it, it had turned me all the way off. I know it's just food coloring, but I'm good on red velvet. Now, I will fuck up the carrot cake. 
I would eat her cakes. I don't want to do red velvet, and I want to do no pies. Now, if she in my face and she put it on a plate, of course I'm going to eat it. I'm just going to chew and swallow quick. But, yeah, mm -mm, I don't want no red velvet because um, I can't do it. I felt that same way about my, oh, I boo-hoo when Michael died, when Whitney died, Joan Rivers died. Who else died? I cried. I just boo-hoo. I couldn't believe. I was hurt. It had just hurt me to the core. I had to be, I didn't deal with nobody for a couple of hours because I couldn't stop. It had just hurt it so bad when they had passed away. McDonald's in Australia is disgusting. Well, baby, try it in America. How about that? Okay, oh, I love me some carrot cake, too. Oh, my gosh. When Aaliyah died, I didn't, I felt, I, I felt something. But I wasn't really a, a Aaliyah fan like that when she was alive. Like, you know, the music they played on the radio and the videos and stuff. I got my gist for her. You know, I never performed none of her songs until after she died. Because the day she died, I went out on Saturday night and found the Missy Elliott CD. It was the blue CD. The cover was blue. Her hair was short. And the inside of that CD, it was a red CD with a silver A. And I'm trying to figure out why the Missy Elliott had a blue case, even with Prince. Boo-hoo. Why the Missy Elliott had this case? Red. I mean, this blue case and the CD is red, so I could not think about it as I was walking home early in the morning. So when I got to my uh, to my uh, my niece's house, or slash, you know, drag daughter. Long story on that. She was in the bed smoking a cigarette when I come tipping in from home. So she <laughs> and she was like, "Girl, Aaliyah died." I'm like, "Wait, what? Aaliyah died? What you talking about?" And it was on the news that her plane went down, right? So I'm like, ain't that crazy? I'm like, damn. So right there, it had hit me hard because, you know, you don't ever expect for that to happen. But I had just found her CD. And I remember going home and I popped in. And when I heard her voice, it just sent this chill of me. And I just cried like, oh, my gosh. And then I listened to the whole CD. Then I Care For You came on and all them other songs. I was like, yes. Then I got my tea off of her. Then I was like, damn. Like, why did I get more deep into her while she was alive? But it was just sad, though. But one of my good friends, I mean, he was a Aaliyah fanatic. He had his whole room posted with Aaliyah. You can tell him nothing about that girl. He knew everything about her. And, you know, we played our music all the time. But I just wasn't, you know, that big a Leah fan like that. Hell, I didn't like Destiny Child until Beyonce went solo. Hell, I didn't like Beyonce until she went solo. No, no tea, no shade. When I seen Crazy in Love is when I got hooked on Beyonce. I knew Destiny Child songs because like, everybody played them and they was on. I was, you know, cool, but I was just like, hmm, they all right. You know what I mean? On my own little hater block. You know what I mean? But as soon as Beyonce came out live with Crazy in Love, it was a wrap. I said, oh, they was holding her back because she doing things here that she had never done with the girls. And then when she came back to Destiny Child, as you can see, the crowd was they were dropping, the girls were dropping it like it was hot, all of that. Because Beyonce was like, girl, I can't go back to this, this two-step. I have to, y'all got to keep up. Can you keep up, baby boy? She made uh, Michelle go to rehearsal more than she's supposed to. Because, girl, we can't have this. Beyonce was Beyonce with her first seat, baby. She had fucked everybody head up. And her record company said she didn't have not one hit. Oh, baby, please. Hey, Theon, girl, we had a ball yesterday, Jish. Yes, we did. I thank you for your time and inviting me over and buying me some fried chicken wings.
<laughs> People be lighting the Kim Burrell ass up. <clears throat> well, I didn't, you know, I, didn't, well, I wasn't a fan of Amy Winehouse neither, so I really didn't. Baby, she sure couldn't keep up on 106 and Park. She went down, but she got back up and swung it on through. But I was like, girl, how did you fall, sister? But she said she was depressed and shit. See, you can make all that money and have all that fame and glory and baby and still be depressed. You would have never thought she was depressed while she was in Destiny Child. I wouldn't have thought that. But you just never know what a person is going through. You know what I mean? Because they having a life and you think all oh, their life is perfect. No, ma'am. Their life is not perfect. They are going through some shit. They just ain't told us. But they going through. Ooh, girl. <clears throat> hey, from Brazil, girl. Indiana, I'm not doing no video calls, bitch, for about a month. I'm going to need a moment to myself because I've been gone all month. And the only video I'm going to be doing that you're going to have to see me on is right here on Insta. But video calling, it ain't going to happen. Give me a month when I'm back in formation. Because I can't. Look at you, Jay. What's the tea? Mm -hmm. But she only got those one lines in the song. I'll be depressed. Oh, my gosh. But Michelle could sing her ass off. Well, she could sing. I like, you know, she's she be holding her own. She could definitely hold her own. But Mama just fell. Everybody looked the same. I don't even know. These girls look. I, I don't even know who. Yeah. All right, from the UK. Just I'm about to get ready to come see you. Okay, I'm about to get ready to punch it. He did a split with one leg. Um, he got two legs, but one leg went out and the other one went underneath. But I love uh, my girls on Destiny Child. Now I love them all. Well, I love them all. I just wasn't getting my gist before. But when, you know, came back. Oh, yeah. Just give me just a minute, because I, I got shit going on, and girl, I just, whew, I need a moment. A moment. I feel like I'm going to go home in a couple of hours. Y'all just don't know how happy I am in the inside. Can you sing and dance and put on makeup at the same time, or makeup or something? This boring as fuck, girl. Could you get off my page, motherfucker? Because I never asked you to be on here. How about that? You happy now? And I'm going to tell you the same thing I tell everybody else that's a hater. Bitch, when you in your worst pain, think of me. What you could do is start getting your life in order. Because I know you're young and dumb, full of cum, in your mouth and in your balls, and in your asshole. You could start doing your own live, and you could get your own dish. And I'm going to give you this finger here, because that's the block finger. So bless your heart. And go follow somebody else. Simple. Because I never asked nobody to be on my page, baby. I'm 41. I don't need kids on my shit anyway. Because I know if your parents knew you was on my page and I'm talking the shit I'm talking, they would not want you on here. And I wish it was a way we could monitor that. And I'm sure I'm going to ask, baby, it need to be a certain age. Y'all need to verify something. But it's okay. I'm going to have my friend tap into some of these phone bills. 
find out, find that person IP address so I could find out who they with and so I could call their mama and say, bitch, your son or daughter is on my grown ass page and let me tell you what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this, this, and this. Do you want them to know about that? You don't, but tell them to get off my page and quit giving them phones because they don't deserve phones. Baby, I'm going to leave that alone. You know, somebody always dumb to say something. No, they put in, uh-uh. They added fake hair to somebody's eyelashes. Shut up. That's an evil ass smoke, though. Damn, they smoked the shit out of her eye. Baby, ooh. You 16. Well, baby, you cool. But for real, y'all shouldn't be on my page, yo. Because <laughs> the things I really do talk about, I don't think your mamas don't want to know. And your daddies, I don't think they really want you to know that. <gasps> Somebody just fell in the grave. Oh, you can have that gumbo shit. I'm good on that shit, too. Fuck that. I've seen too many nasty-ass gumbos. People have posted up, so I'm good. If I want gumbo, I'm going to make my own because I don't want seafood in mine anyway. I've seen some nasty. And I don't like shit looking nasty, smelling nasty, because if I see it, I won't eat it. That's why I don't fuck with hot dogs no more, because I set my dumb ass up there and watch um, what it was. Oh, you do too, girl. Get your judge. Four eyes. She got blocked. <laughs> oh, I was watching. Um, let me show y'all this video, because I'm going to call my lift come pick me up and take me go give me some wings baby look at this watch the lady in yellow see him bam right in the hole in the grave no ma'am that's why I was like because <gasps> this bitch fell down what am I doing for New Year's sitting my ass at home in my house eating watching TV Smoking weed and not bothering a motherfucker because I don't want a motherfucker to bother me on the new year. And then the next day, the second, I'm going to go drive to San Diego, go pick up my baby, and we are going to go watch a movie. We're going to Chuck E. Cheese, eat some pizza, play some games. Yeah. If you, if we ever want to bring you something at a show, what should we bring? I don't know. People bring me all type of shit. Flowers, weed, money, pictures. I don't know. I have no idea, Jim. People bring me a little bit of everything. Girl, you know, yeah, sitting on my own toilet. That's the main thing. It's to sit on thy own toilet. I really want some of these people to stop doing their makeup live. And nowadays, these women look so much like drag queens because they had, um, So many people had uh, 
they watch all these damn YouTube videos and they look women look more like drag queens and transsexuals than anybody. So you can't get mad when you're a man straight because you're looking like us just so they're going to find one that look better than you because you're trying to look like us. And then all of a sudden, they sleeping with them. Because I ain't been bothered. I can't wait to get home and see my baby. Both my babies. My old baby and my baby baby. Yeah, I thought that's crazy because I just about to ask you if you were doing your live. My live. What? what what's going on there? Fuck me. I had my makeup on Facebook. I don't mind people doing their makeup on Online. I mean, if you want to do it, you could do it. I don't, I don't see nothing wrong with it. I just, I, it's just not something for me. I haven't felt that desire yet to be, oh, let me go in here and get painted. I just haven't felt that. You may see me touch up and change, but from start to finish, I think I did it maybe once. And it's hard to be sitting there trying to do your makeup and people talking. Now, I did tell you, Jamar84, stop painting your face and wearing boy clothes to the club. So I hope you get that in, get that in order, cause that's not cute. If you don't have women clothes to step out, just don't step out. We got enough going on. We don't need bitches in makeup and boy clothes punching it. So I really need you to get your jet. And anybody else out there? Oh, I'm gonna have a ball with my nephew. Oh my god, my baby. He is my life, my pride, and joy, my everything and when I tell you I'm not moving out of California I'm not budging unless he coming with me yeah my sister could stay if she want to just give me my baby and I'll be all right please try to it ain't it ain't a lot Jamar it's really not hard to go buy women clothes but you can't you can't mix up the boat we got enough going on we don't need no more of that You got to stop that, Jill. Like, for me, honestly, I don't do my makeup and then put on a sweatsuit and a hat and then run to the club. That has never been my judge. Ever. And when I tell you, if I'm in the dressing room and I need to step out, baby, I'm putting on a wig, I'm putting on some pumps, and I'm punching it out there. And anybody would tell you, oh, girl, she ain't walking out there like that. She is not walking out there like that. Not Jasmine Masters, no, ma'am. She going to have on a pump, and she going to have on a, a Dorothy Explorer or something. I'm not walking out like that. With some body parts, Trinity is good with body parts. She may have some old drag that she could probably lend down to you, too. I'm sure she do. That don't look good. So yeah, you have to uh, get that in in order, Jill. I told you that then, and I'm telling you that now. You have to get that in order. Oh well, I'll be back in Houston February fourth and fifth. Hamburger Marys. So you tip up in there, bitch. You better have on a moo moo. But don't be walking around no boy clothes and no face paint. That ain't cute. That's just confusing people who come and see the show. Oh, that's cute, Nikki. You look pretty. Let me do this lift, honey, so I get the fuck up out of here. Oh, that was 9-11. Jesus Christ. 